All right, so let's talk about these frames and machines types of problems. Uh, so first of all, you, you've got to remember stuff we did a long time ago. Pins, what do you need at a pin? Uh, an AX and an AY. You know, what do you need at a rocker? Just one force perpendicular to the surface. Uh, rollers, normal forces. How about collars, right? Collars, if, if you don't remember, if you don't memorize all the different types of supports, that's fine. Ask yourself, how is it restricting the motion? You know, what does this one feel uh, from the other one? All right, so you got to remember all of those. Um, something like uh, C, uh, that wouldn't show up in your whole free body diagram, but after you open it, it would be equal and opposite. One of them feels equal and opposite what the other one feels. Very important uh, idea for this uh, type of problem. So for this, no matter what, um, what I throw at you, right? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see, can I keep it together? Can I look at the whole free body diagram and are there three unknowns? Maybe so. That would be a great, you know, a great, uh, a great problem. If I could look at the whole free body diagram and there were only three unknowns, then I would start there and solve for the three unknowns, do the free body diagram of the whole, um, the whole object. Uh, but if I couldn't, then I would look at, okay, is this section, is this part piece have three unknowns? Or does this piece have three unknowns? And I would definitely start there. If one of the pieces only has three unknowns, definitely start there. But if not, you know, you just got to start with something that has four unknowns. And so technically, I, th I think it might might have been smarter to start with the whole free body diagram for this one. Uh, but um, I decided to start with each section. And thinking ahead, I kind of knew that that moment equation for one and the moment equation for the other one would lead me to my two equations to another. But you don't have to do it out of order. You could do it in the, the usual order. What's our usual order? Sum of the forces in x equals zero, sum of the forces in y equals zero, then sum of the moments equals zero. So maybe you just wanted to look at bar a, b, c, and sum of the forces in x equals zero. So, you know, write those three equations. You wouldn't be able to solve. And then I would jump to bar c, d, e, and I would write those three equations. I wouldn't be able to solve. But then I would find a way to solve six equations, six unknowns. So this is probably maybe the hardest when, when you have six equations with six unknowns. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll be nice enough and lucky enough that you just have one member that has um, three unknowns. But the way I like you to do these, do these problems is box in your magnitude and draw it the correct direction on the free body diagram. And I prefer you to do kind of like I did and kind of show, make it known that, hey, I guessed this way to begin with, but it's actually that way. That's easier for me to grade your work to know what you were thinking ahead of, when you were writing that equation. What were you thinking? Um, and then your answer came out negative. But uh, be sure that they are drawn the correct direction on your free body diagrams. If I ask for your free body diagram, I'm grading your free body diagram, which means I want it self-sufficient, which means all angles, all dimensions, all axes need to be drawn on there. Uh, you should be able to write your three equations by looking at your free body diagram that you drew and not by having to go back to the figure every time you want to um, write your, your equilibrium, three equilibrium equations. Okay?